I guess it's time for another episode of Fairy Tale Magic at the Library with me, Magician Mike Rose. I was just reading this fairy tale called The King Who Hated Card Tricks. Can you believe such a thing? Yeah, it turns out the king hates card tricks because most magicians, when they perform card tricks, they use the aces. Yeah, the king thinks that card tricks should always use kings. Kind of makes sense, I guess, for a king. But he hates card tricks just because magicians use aces. Can you believe it? Well, unfortunately for the king, I've been practicing some card tricks using, yeah, aces. You want to see them? Well, you have to come down here and take a look at the tabletop. Well, if we're going to do some card magic using the aces, I guess we need huh, the aces. And we can actually do some magic using only the aces. Now, if you play cards, you probably know there's two basic colors of cards. There's red cards and black cards. With the aces, the red cards, there's the ace of diamonds. And the other, I'll put it right there. And the other red card is the ace of hearts. I'll put it with this red card. And that leaves the two black cards here. Unless I give them a little magic snap. That's all it takes. And these black cards become red cards. And the red cards become the black cards. The king hates this trick just because it uses aces instead of kings. Go figure. But we could take this a little further. We could add some more cards, but none of them are going to be kings. They're just a bunch of spot cards. Two, threes, fives, nines, sevens, that kind of stuff. But we'll still use the aces, even though the king doesn't approve. Now the first ace, we're going to call this the leader ace. He's going to be the leader of the pack. The other three aces are going to try to follow him. So we'll place the other three aces in a row right back here. Oh, and of course we're going to add some of these cards that aren't kings on top of these. We'll take one, two, three, not kings. Place them there. One, two, three, not kings. One, two, three, not kings. And one, two, three, not kings. Now the first ace you want to watch is the ace of hearts. It does something very unusual. I'm going to place it face up among the other three cards that are face down, which aren't kings. Now don't take your eyes off it. I give it a little spin. That's when the magic happens. The face up ace now is face down. And not only is it face down, it's completely dis a uh, Appeared. Just like that. We'll try it with the Ace of Clubs. Now remember, it starts up face up among the three cards that are face down. So it's four cards total. One, two, three, four. Watch the Ace, a magic spin, and now all four are face down. But not just face down, the King is unhappy because that Ace was not a King. And now, it's not even an ace. But there's one left, the ace of diamonds. And we're going to do that a little bit differently. We're going to place it aside. We're not going to leave it in with the other three cards. We're going to leave it right there on the table. Keep your eye on it. Now, we're not going to use these other three cards at all. We're going to use just that ace, which is not a king. And now, it's not an ace. All the aces have vanished. And if they've done what they're supposed to, they've followed the leader. And now all four aces are together in one pile. The king hates this trick just because it uses aces instead of kings. Sure, I could have taken some kings and used them instead, but it's traditional to use aces. Although I'm not really sure why it's so traditional to use aces. Just magicians always like using the four aces. But I think at least once we should try to make the king happy. What do you think? Should we try to make the king happy? Let's go for it. Huh. And now we have one, two, three, four kings, no aces. And now I hope the king is happy. Well, who knew? All it took to make the king a happy camper was to do card tricks using kings. That wasn't so difficult, really. Well, it looks like 
I am out of time once again with our episode of Fairy Tale Magic at the Library. But I'll tell you what, I've been a happy camper because all of you have been tuning in and watching the magic at the library. I really do appreciate it. We're all done for today. Thanks, everybody. I've been Mike Rose, and you have been great. So long. We'll see you.